Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name is Andrew, aka The Black Dragon. This is Black Dragon Studios, and we're back with another Magic the Gathering Arena video for you guys today. Today, we switched it up in a big way. We went from starting off on MTG Arena playing aggro, and now we're up back on Esper Control again. Esper Control, I'm making it, I'm playing it in standard, we're having fun with it. It's a super fun deck. The mana base really needs work. You know, we really need to add in some more duels and stuff like that. Maybe add in a couple more creature lands. I don't have those cards right now, or otherwise I would have put them in. And also maybe consider, because it's been such a good card, adding in another Caretaker's Talent and potentially um, potentially a Carrot Cake or two. I'm not sure though, because um, I've never been a fan of Bloomborough all that much, to be honest with you. The only card that I really do like is Caretaker's Talent. I think it's a fantastic card, and Beza, obviously. But that's it, man. Everything else. I don't like the Otters. I don't like the Rabbits. I don't like getting Slick Shot show off. Um, you know, Heartfire heroed every two games, but it is what it is. So we've crushed the meta with this deck when we draw the right lands. And when we don't draw the right lands, we get crushed. But yeah, man, we... We are doing some crushing with this deck. This deck can handle control, it can handle aggro, it can handle mid-range. Esper Control is back in the meta, man. What can I say? It's back, and I'm here to show you guys today what it can do to both aggro and control. So, let's get into it. Also, just one more thing I wanted to add quick for you guys before we get into the video. I noticed that a lot of the people that are watching these videos are not sub the channel. I'm going to give you guys five seconds to like and subscribe to the channel right now. better Seems fine. Seems like a fine mulligan. And Monastery Swift Spear. Well, there you go. So, wasn't a good mulligan after all. If I didn't mulligan, we'd definitely be dying, but we're still probably dying. Ember Heart. It's always the same. Turn one, Swiss Beer. Turn two, Ember Heart. It's always the same thing with this deck. We do have the Make Your Move if they do m decide to make their creature gigantic, which is really nice, actually. Um, it's actually a really good card against red. Yeah, flood the board. Do your thing. Sure. Temporary lockdown? Come on. I know you're in there. That's not a temporary lockdown. In fact, that's the furthest thing from it. Sure. And turn. We're dead. 100%. We're dead. Plotting a slick shot show off. Okay, they have no pump spells. That's, that's good and bad news. I mean, you know... I'm just going to go ahead here and take two off the top of their library. I don't know what else to do. Heartfire and a lightning strike. That's actually a good steal. Oh. 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 Opponent. <laughs> Concede. And we have the lightning strike for the... <laughs> that was so good. What a sequence. What a slick sequence. Videotaping this crime spree is the best idea we ever had. And he's gonna pump it up. Pump, 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 pump it up. What a sequence. Oh my dear lord. <laughs> Man, is he ever gonna be unhappy when he sees what I play next? He is so upset right now. Lightning 
display the tutu. No more lies is kind of neat. Interesting. Go to attacks. Swing. Not worried about his... Whatever he plays. End the turn. He can mana leak anything that he plays, except for a one drop. But he's already drawn so many one drops, I just don't think it's possible for him to keep drawing the one drops. We drew another temporary lockdown, doesn't matter. He's gonna want to try to kill us in one shot, so we're gonna counter whatever creature he plays. Whatever creature he plays, that is a demonic ruckus. The better of the plotted cards that he could play for us. And we finally got there. All right, so, I mean, what do we do here? If he draws, if he has a slick shot in hand, I believe we just lose. I think, I think we just continue to hold up the mana leak for now. Mana leak, make your move. Unfortunately, we can't create flyers, so I'm just going to keep doing this. He could have double bolt that. We are out of double bolt range, though, which is kind of nice, too. Seven life is like the perfect amount of life to be at against mono red. For this type of a situation. Cut down is so nice. Oh my god. It just keeps getting better and better. I'm enjoying killing you with your heart fire hero. He's shocking my tutu? Okay. Fine. Don't care. I'm still gonna get in there for one. I'm gonna get in there for one. Has he played a slick shot? He did play one. Um... I'm just so afraid to tap out right now. We have so much removal in our hand. There's no reason to tap out right now. For something that doesn't even win us the game immediately. It only wins the game if he doesn't kill me on the turn that I tap out, which is very likely that he would, so... It's very likely that he would. He's not drawing land, and that's his biggest downfall, is... Whatever he plays is going to get countered, so... We'll play the Elspeth, make a life linker, or do we just target? Yeah, we'll make a life linker, chalk her up to five, make him really, make her really tough to beat. We'll go to combat. Um, I want to bring him down to nine. No, nah, no attacks for now. We'll hold back because we are a little short on mana. Hold back for a second here. He was considering shocking it, so he probably does have a shock in hand. Monastery Swift Spear. Uh, no more lies. You have to pay three extra for it. Pays the three. Gonna get in with a 3-4 trample. We'll gain that life right back on my turn. It's okay. He's all tapped out. He thinks he's doing something here with his life. He's not. No blocks. See this? See this? Do you see me gaining life? Look at all the cards he's got in his hand, but no creatures. There's a slick shot. This will definitely get to 4 power and toughness. Might of the meek. There it is. Alright. Monstrous Rage. Oh, 
Let him. I gotta let him do it. Let him do the monstrous rage. And your life is over, sir. Have a good day. Wow. What a game. Doesn't get any better than that. Temporary lockdown wins another game. No shock there. It's okay, but if we don't draw a white source, we are in deep doo-doo. Everything costs double white. And they are running aggro. Cool. Acophony Scamp. Play the Dark Slug Shores. Cut down the Scamp. Lotting a slick shot show off. That's just fine by me. I will play this. And we're not liking our situation right now. One mana off, make your move. At, le at the very least, we have a make your move, but this is the turn where slick shot gets a very big. Oh, they're going for broke. Wow, these, this guy is not understanding what's about to happen to him. Okay. If he would have just played the slick shot right on that turn, he could have did like 10 damage, but he wants to go for the he wants to go for the jugular here. And unfortunately for our man, I'm going to let him do all his pumping and then just kill it. It's he's going to draw a card, but we ain't taking no damage. Unless he has royal treatment. If he has royal treatment, we are absolutely screwed. So you're just going to do six? Oh, okay. He's probably got royal treatment. That's fine. You know, you got royal treatment. There you go. So we take nine. Which he could have done on the last turn, but he decided to get greedy and now he's going to pay for it. Play the Terramorphic Expanse. Crack the Expanse. Go find a Swamp. Should I go find a Plains? I'd probably go find a Plains, honestly. I should have found a Swamp. Anyway, we have a Swamp in hand. What am I talking about? He'll get absolutely no value out of the uh, Demonic Ruckus. Other than the damage that it did cause. I think he's out of creatures now, though. He's got to be. No, he's still doing the thing. Okay. He's still doing the thing. He's got no pump spells. And we have the Beza. Let's cast the Beza. That's a nice little blocker and gain four life. And then this make your move is going to be really nice too. He's going to... Is he going to commit suicide with one of the challengers to try and deal two damage? I'm not going to block until I can make your move, so... Is he attacking... He is. Alright. That's a bit of an issue for us. Let's let it through. Let him pump. That's okay. Yep. Yep, we're going down to three. Alrighty. Demolition field. And... Let's see here. I'm just going to blow up the world, I guess. Blow it up, blow up the board. I have to. There's no other choice. Got to blow it up, hold up the mana leak for the next two drop that he's going to cast right about now. Right about now. Right about now. There we go. 
That's a really good value there. Down to two. We're in shock territory. You cannot pay. Draws a card. We are in shock territory. That's a Kaya. Not the greatest. Especially since we do not have any mana. Let's make your move. But we do have a flyer. But we are in shock territory. Very bad place to be. With things like Cacophony, Scamp, and such in the meta. Um... Let's create another flyer. And go to combat. Attack in. Eight turn clock. Just gotta serve just gotta fade eight turns for him to draw one creature. That's a scamp. <laughs> it's over. That's the worst possible scenario for us. Uh, let's see. We could exile it. Yeah, let's do that. Eh, cancel that, cancel that. Go to attacks. Swing in with one. Damage. Exile it. That's the best case scenario. If he tries to do anything funny, I'm just going to normalize it. That was a really good draw. And end the turn. His problem here is any two drop that he draws is getting countered. So we do have a little bit of time here to... Um, Shock is getting countered. Oh, that's a beautiful draw with six mana. That is such a nice draw. Created Spirit. Make this a... He doesn't have a Shock in hand, otherwise he would have played it. So we're going to attack in. Actually, let's... Yep, we're going to attack in. Gotta try and kill him as fast as possible here, dude. There's a land. That was his draw for the turn. Very nice. Do the same thing here. Now he's on a two turn clock. Make a token. We are doing the thing. Swing in. Not worried about defense at this time. Not worried about nothing. We got the Virtue for a Scamp and the Normalize as backup. Same thing for a Heartfire Hero. And our opponent concedes. Wow. Wowie. Well played, sir. I hate red decks so much. They're so, so, so simple. So simple. And so boring. Yes, I do the same thing every game. I play a turn one Heartfire Hero or a Cacophony Scamp. I pump the creature. I deal 13 damage to you. And then I go do it again two minutes later to someone else. It's so stupid. Play a Dark Slick Shores. Pass a turn. Planeswalkers galore. And of course, he's playing aggro. Turn one, it's over, right? No witnesses in hand, which is kind of nice, but at the same time, he could easily just play a caretaker's talent and blow us out. Invasion of Gobacon. Yeah, that. Well, there goes our, there goes our, there goes our no witnesses. He's playing mono white discard. Apparently, <laughs> mono white discard. That's awesome. Um, at least we can cast it for six. If he wants to play our Wanderer at eight, we have to cast our Wanderer for eight, which would be kind of annoying. But I think his best move here is to just make us pay six for the no witnesses. And, you know, that'll be that. Or even six for the Kaya is kind of, kind of bad. So. 
Yeah, that's what he'll choose. So he's got probably something in there. I don't know whose turn it is. It's still his turn. He's attacking. Cool. Okay, we did draw the cover up, which is nice. The Mirax, the cave of Koilos. Pass the turn to you. And we'll probably just know witnesses next turn. Follow that up with a deadly cover up, hopefully into Eternal Wander. That is a war leader's call. Okay. Sure. Sure. So you get what? What is that? At the beginning of your end step, put a plus one plus one on each creature that attacked this turn. Light, hexproof, and indestructible. Jesus. Interesting. I guess we're just taking the beats, man. Unless we can find a temporary lockdown. Pretty much over at this. Yeah, it's not even going to work now. He knows. He's already been through this numerous times. Casting this for one seems bad, but I'm doing it. Warden. Okay. Alright. Casting the No Witnesses. He'll make his creatures indestructible. But at least you won't get plus one, plus one counters on them anymore. And then next turn, he'll just have a bat. Well, actually, we'll just play the deadly cover-up. Yeah, I mean, you know, you think you're funny, but you're only going to do 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, the Mirax and the War Leaders and the Devil War Yeah, that's... That works. That works. That does work. That does work. Well, we're getting the aggro matchups that we wanted, but again, they're all drawing absolute nuts. They're all drawing the best hands they could possibly draw. I feel it's only fair that if they're going to draw the best hands they could possibly draw, then I should be drawing good hands too, but I'm not. I'm drawing complete crap against them. Like, who plays white discard? Nobody. That's the only person that's I've ever seen that from, so... All I needed was a cut down, and this entire game plan would have been foiled. One little cut down could have changed the whole momentum of that game. He would have never got that stupid thing into play to begin with. Look at this. We have blue mana and no moralize in our hand. It's like so perfect, right? Ooh. It's so perfect. We have mana for everything. No, that's getting countered. That sanguine evangelist is freaking annoying. The next one is going to be for the forge. So let's play this. Now 
Elspeth with no land to play it. That's so cool, dude. I feel so awesome. I'm so good at this game. 27 land in my deck and I got mana screwed again. I guess I gotta start playing Carrot Cake. I don't know. And he just drew the Mirax. That's fine. Play the Caretaker's Talent. Like, play something. Don't look at my creature, man. Whatever. Rig, man. Fine. You know? Whatever. Don't care. He wants to try and get in clean with the Mirax. It's not gonna happen. Ba -ba 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 Bingo. Demolition Field. You can make one Mirax token. And we'll go look for a black here. A white. Oh man. I need a, I need a blue. Sadly. Hmm. Okay. So I can't even cast mana leak now. So bad. Like, I understand why you would do that. I get it. I totally understand, but it's not working for me. It's not working out. All right. Sure. Demolition field and bitter triumph. And now we have counter man up for the uh, and we have a demolition field for his next stupid Mirax. We also have a Mirax too, by the way. We'll see what he tries to squeak out this turn. I have temporary lockdown, but it's not going to work on that. So let's just counter it. He can play the Virtue. I'll just kill all of his creatures. So don't care. And I can't cast anything this turn. Let's blow this up. I need a white mana, man. Like, right now. There's no time to waste. This will give him the opportunity to play a virtue into a, a dead board, essentially. If he wants. Which he does. Totally cool. Alright. So let's go in then with the Outrageous Robbery. One, two, uh, three, four, five. I think that's fair, right? Five is fair. He's got a lot of good stuff we can steal, like forges and get losts and stuff like that. Caretakers, talents, Elspeths. He thinks I have a counter in hand. Oh, this is great. This is great. 
I don't have a counter in hand, buddy. This is what I have. <laughs> oh, nobody ever expects it. Nobody ever expects it. Videotaping this crime spree is the best thing we ever had. Thank you, sir. I get the fountain port as well. Ooh, lovely. This is pretty good. Play the Elspeth. He thinks I have a counter, so I'm just gonna continue to hold up the counter mana. It's just to drag the canal, though. Let's play the carrot cake. And I just screwed up. I didn't use my Elspeth. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, that's staying on top. <laughs> use the Elspeth. He might sunfall here. Sweet. He's mono white. Mono it looks like he's just mono white control. That's cool. Get lost. Destroy. T yeah, you can destroy here because guess who's coming in next turn? Look at who's coming in next turn to save the day. And that virtue is going to be gone, and I'm going to have the virtue, and it's going to be great. Oh. Go on then. Once we land a Kaya, there's nothing he can do. Absolutely nothing he can do. Might have to hold off. Might have to hold off. But I don't think I can. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take that virtue off his hands for him before it gets scary. Let's see here. I got my own virtue, but it's kind of risky. I think the best thing to do is just to play the Kaya, exile his virtue. I need to exile his virtue immediately. I could be cheeky and take the Beza. And in fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take his Beza. That way he can't temporary lock down. I have my own virtue. I can take his virtue whenever I want, so. I'm going to gain 4 life, I'm going to draw a card, I'm going to draw a cut down, which I can't play. We have a carrot cake we can pop too if things get messy for Kaya, so we're going to protect Kaya now, that's our ultimate goal. He can't do anything to Kaya. No attacks. The only thing he can do with Kaya is pray, <laughs> and that's usually not going to work. Sunfall? Sure. That's his prayer. It's not good enough, though. We have lots of, lots of follow-ups to a Sunfall. Temporary Lockdown Draw would be pretty sick right now. I might just start ripping cards off the top of my deck with Kaya. We're going to sack the carrot cake. Make a token. Gain three life. Scry one. Scry should help. Don't want that. I need to start playing this card, man. This card is so good. Deadly cover up. Perfect. Um. Okay. Let's see here. Let's draw two. There we go. There's the temporary lockdown we were looking for. Get, get his carrot cake. Get his t 
token get his rabbit and he's back to having no creatures again so he's just stuck with a virtue that's doing absolutely nothing for him I'm gonna play a virtue while I have a clean board and you can go and I'll just cover up again when you do something that robbery was really nice Elspeth? That's pretty good, actually. That's really not that bad at all. We do have the Evangelist, which is nice. Has um, Creates a bat with flying. I'm going to cut that down. And you get to do nothing with your virtue once more. Let's plus her. I'm going to get rid of that virtue as soon as possible now. Cast Sanguine Evangelist. And we do have the Fountain Board as well that we can do here. I can actually, I can attack Elspeth. Let's do that. I'm attacking Elspeth. Taking her down. He probably is going to exile this. I could already see it from a mile away. Sure. We got two maps. Let's crack a map on this thing here. That's a demo field. That's pretty cool. Let's do it again. Oh, that's a, that's that's a banger right there. Play the demo field. Get some counters on our creature, and we are doing it. We're gonna exile the virtue of loyalty next turn. Eternal wanderer. Oh boy. We're really gonna need that caretaker's talent. We're really going to need that caretaker's talent. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to exile this virtue. We have to. There's no other way. Play this. Make a token copy of this. Do I want to make them level 4? I think I do. Make them level 4. Or level 3. Go to combat. Um, I want to see what's in his graveyard. Just like carrot cake. Okay, he's not going to sack Elspeth for a carrot cake. Let's hit her. Kill his Wanderer. That's like super good, dude. That's actually really insane. Double Virtue. Let's go. Now he has to Sunfall. His Elspeth brings him nothing here without a Wanderer in play. Or a virtue. His virtue's gone, his wanderer's gone, and we have double virtue. Kaya's still looking good over there. And now caretaker's talent. I don't know how he and double cover up. <laughs> what I mean, what more could you want, man? Mountain ports, demolition fields, like we are just doing it. He just oh my god, he got another virtue of logic. You know what? That's okay though. We have cover up. And then we can just plus Kaya and do the whole thing over again ad infinitum. Our deck has an inevitability. He's going to exile my 7-7. Seven, seven, that's fine. I have a 5-5 five, five flyer too, by the way. Did you see that? I have another one. 
<laughs> he's he's exiling everything except the virtue of loyalty, which is so funny. He doesn't understand that this virtue is actually giving me plus one plus one counters and letting me untap every turn. He's stuck. He can't do anything. He's locked out right now, and this is great. This is exactly where we want to be in this type of a matchup. He wants to play the War of Attrition, but we just do it better. Kaya just does it better. I mean, if you can resolve and protect a Kaya, you're going to win the game 9 times out of 10. Sure, so it's a 5-5 flyer double strike. Don't care. Do your worst. Do your worst. He ends the turn. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Do I want to sacrifice this Sanguine Evangelist? Oh no, because I create a bat with flying when it dies. Okay, so that's cool. Hmm. What do you mean, oops? Oops? Did you just say oops? He just said oops. Alright. Interesting. Let me tick Kaya up. I think I deadly cover up here. Or Sunfall. Sunfall is kind of good. I can Sunfall, get a creature. But deadly cover up gets rid of some things too. Deadly cover up can kind of like, you know, help me out a lot here. And I still can make tokens, so let's get rid of her, get rid of this thing. And I'm probably gonna go searching for wanderers, because yeah, we don't want no more wanderers. Coming back. Those are just devastating. He has no more wanderers, that's really good. He's got like nothing left in his deck. That's good. That's all I wanted to know. Sanguine comes back. That was why I did that. Um, we used Kaya. We have that in play. We're going to do this. Um, make a fountain port or a Mirax? Probably make a fountain port. Can I make a Mirax too? No, I didn't have the mana for a Mirax. So I only have one virtue now. Keyword only. He just drew that off the top. That's not a bad draw at all. I'm just gonna sunfall. I'm just gonna sunfall here. Continue to tick Kai up. And we'll sunfall after attacking. There's no point in attacking Elspeth right now. But there is a good reason to sunfall. Draw a card, make your move. That's pretty good. Make a fountain port. And you can go now. Draw draw that again off the top, dude. I dare you. Draw it again. Draw another sanguine bat. Draw another flyer off the top of your deck so I cannot kill that stupid Elspeth. That's a caretaker's talent. Hey, you know what? That's fine. We don't care at all about that. And I'm going to tell you why. This is why. Make your move. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? Look at what we just drew. If he doesn't concede immediately, I'd be shocked. Exile that. And draw two. Scry one. You can scry one. fish draw a card terramorphic expanse play the terramorphic expanse bring this into a creature and I guess that's lethal I didn't even see that kind of rude of me to just not see that but yep that's lethal 
Nice. Really good. Really good. I mean, Caretaker's Talent is just so powerful. Everybody's playing it. If you can't beat Caretaker's Talent, what are you doing in Standard, really, right? What are you doing, boy? I like the deck a lot. It's super fun. If you like a long grindy game where you're just like controlling your opponent's creatures, you're not letting them play any spells, you're exiling everything they play and just wearing them out, grinding them out, and making them sweat, bleed, cry for every little inch that they get in the game, then this is definitely the deck for you. Um, you know, you can overwhelm your opponents with tokens, or you can just simply win with you know, a resolved Kaya or a resolved Eternal Wanderer. It's up to you, but the new tech we added in for this was the blue. We changed it from Orzhov to Esper so that we could get the No More Lies in. Um, if we can cast the No More Lies on turn three, it's really powerful. Um, you know, we can counter a Forge, we can counter a Liliana, we can counter just about, you know, we can counter a Caretaker's Talent. We don't have to worry about it, but if it does get resolved, um, we still have the Bitter Triumphs for the Planeswalkers, the Get Lost for the uh, for the Talents and the Creatures and Planeswalkers that get resolved, and also the Super Secret Tech, the Make Your Move, Destroy Target Artifact, Enchantment, or Creature with Power 4 or Greater at Instant Speed for 3 mana is actually playable in this format right now. Um, it's really good in the slower matchups, uh, you know, to just take care of talents, take care of forges, forges not living against this, and then obviously it shuts down mono red pump spells like a boss. So it's a great card to put in the deck, and I would just add in some more, like change the mana base up, obviously, add, take out the planes and put in four scene chrome coasts and then add in maybe one more Restless Fortress because they have won a lot of games. They're very good. And then obviously the Mirexes and the Fountain Ports are good. I would maybe add in one more Fountain Port um, and try to maybe make a cut to get one more Caretaker's Talon in there at some point too. But um, we added in the Outrageous Robbery as well, XL a target opponent exiles the top X cards of their library, you get all of those cards and they don't get to know what those cards are and then you can play them for colorless mana anytime you want for any color of mana you could play their cards it's like it's like heist in standard it's great um, it's like alchemy in standard and then you've got drag the canal uh, which is super super awesome I think in a control token deck I mean what more could you want out of a two mana instant so create a two two white and blue detective that's good in and of itself it's okay but the kicker is if a creature died any creature just died you gain two life you surveil two and then you investigate i mean for two mana this is probably one of the better cards in the format in my opinion um as a two of so yeah i'm getting out of here for today peace out Woo! <laughs>